So this is the little boat that I want to use. You see me driving it in different episodes. I've had some failures. Three, two, one. And some successes. But I'll end up cutting out the centre divider and hard welding the thing together. I'll do some other mods and that, but let's get the jet unit sorted out first. We're at the back half of the boat in here. There's a jet unit I printed out a while ago. I've been selling drawings of this on CG Trader, and look what I got. A subscriber has sent me a bunch of stuff here. So we've got two of these motors. They're huge, big, like drone type motors. CA80 160kV. Not quite sure about this electrical stuff, but apparently these motors are about 10 horsepower each, which is going to be great. He sent me these controllers. This is what they are. I think these are designed for like a drone or something like that, to have air blowing over them constantly, so overheating might be a problem. But I might have a solution to that. He also sent me a whole bunch of connectors and stuff, and he printed me some of my own jet units out of resin. Unfortunately, one of them got broken in the post, but it's quite cool to see the design of how the uh, flow corrector works. I'm going to run two of these little jet units, and I could use differential thrust to steer it, but I think what's better is using a steering nozzle. Oh, thank you. So that handsome fellow drew up a steering nozzle on Fusion 360 and printed it out for me and made a reverse bucket too. There's the steering nozzle and the reverse bucket. So as that comes down, the water squirts up here, hooks back and shoots you along backwards, but we'll see if it works later. Okay, I'm thinking something like this setup. The nozzles will come out the back like that and take in there. Let's start making some stuff. Takes are now mounted. I 3D printed this little fan for the motor. It'll blow air through itself and over the controller as well. I might have to make a bit of a tunnel. But let's set the motors up. So we're drilling a bit of six mil plate here, nice and strong. So that's tacked together now. I've got the motors just sitting in there loose. This is sort of my idea. This box will be enclosed. I'll just have a lid I can lift on and off. I have to make the shaft still. But if I run these controllers sort of like that, because this whole piece is going to be in contact with the water cooling the whole thing down, and I'll make a duct so the air is getting sucked through here, through the motor, out, push past these controllers and out another vent. Will this work? I don't know. Leave a comment. So I've printed another nozzle here. This is how the steering works. It's got a plate and a rod. And I'll just tie a rope or a cord to there. Around a pulley off to the front somewhere, both sides. So I can turn both these jets at the same time. If you do a lot of your work at night like I do, get some lights for your shed. Uh, Jackson Electrical sponsored this video. I'll leave a link in the description. They've also got other stuff, power boxes and stuff. So I've got the front half in here. This is like a modular boat design where I can take each part and clip them on. Tried various different motors and all sorts of different setups and uh, ended up hitting heaps of rocks and doing jumps and stuff in it. And anyway, the back section is pretty much wrecked. But I've got to hard weld these two pieces together and cut the middle out because I need room to move backwards and forwards. Okay. 
There we go, it's here to join her back together. Hi, got the outside welded. I'm not quite sure where I'm gonna sit yet. I might get one of those little kayak seats so I can just move it back and forth. Might need to change my weight if like I have passengers or something. So if I've got someone on the back, I might need to be a bit further forward. So the steering wheel I might make a little bit adjustable somehow. Still need to weld the inside, so let's do that next. Three D printers starting to play up. Um, I was TIG welding while it was running the other night and the screen was all just horrogalyphics, looks like I was entering the matrix. This print I was doing, I was printing another intake, is just super weak and just pulled it apart. I'm worried there's something wrong with my printer, I might have ruined it by TIG welding at the same time because the frequency messes it up. Alright, I welded off the inside of the boat, put the motors and stuff back in here. I have 3D printed a different fan, so the air gets forced in through it now. It'll come back out and I want to make a wall in here so the air is going to get forced back through the controllers. I was hoping I could use these batteries, 56 volt, but um, the more I learn about it, the more I think they don't have enough, uh, you can't draw enough current out of them. Here's the information on them. Maybe if I had two per motor, that would be enough. My plan was to cut this shape out of aluminium and weld it in here but it's gonna to be too hard to get the motors in and out. I'll just draw it up and 3D print it instead in two pieces or three pieces. So a big inspiration for this project is Youngster Jet. He's got an electric little kayak. I'll put a link to his channel, it's super awesome. Uh, it's good to see someone doing something different other than just put a jet ski motor and unit in a kit set boat, like everyone else is doing. I would like to show you guys the motors turning on and revving up and squirting some water and stuff, but I'm waiting on batteries and other parts. So maybe we can do a durability test instead. <laughs> Oops, I'm starting to put dents in it. I dented it with the frame. I better put this away before I get too carried away and wreck it. This boat's uh, made out of two mil aluminium. It's pretty light. You show them there. There you go. Okay, that durability test was just more fun than anything, really. I need advice on all this electrical stuff. I don't really know what I'm doing. Any advice on batteries and all that sort of thing. Thank you, Eden, for talking me through some of this stuff. And a big thanks to Bruce for giving me these parts, making this build possible. My 3D printer is on the fritz, it's an end of three, it's playing up, I can't get it to work. I do have a quiet board that a subscriber sent me ages ago, but I've been too scared to put it in, so maybe if I put this in it might fix the problem. Or maybe I should get a better 3D printer, let me know in the comments which is a good 3D printer to get. The drawing for this jet unit is for sale on CG Trader. You get a bunch of impellers and stuff with it, so I'll just those. <laughs> if you want these parts for it, they'll be these will be free, I'll put them up in a day or two. So print this one this way up, no support material needed, and this one this way up, same thing, no support. Thanks for watching guys, I'll see you in the next one.